Hey guys, Dynasty Warriors 6 here again with another uh, updated, this is an updated room tour. Um, I've been telling people that I was going to do this for a long time now, so I'm kind of going to do it. I'm doing it now, so finally we're going to get involved in it, and there's been a lot of redecorating going on uh, in everybody's rooms, especially mine so far, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys kind of what's been going on and what's been updated and what's been moved around. So um, we're, we're going to go straight to the game collection once again. I'm going to move the camera down though to avoid that. There we go. So, of course, as everyone knows, this is my game collection area. You know, this is where a lot of my games go, a really good chunk. I, you know, there's a lot of stuff here regarding everything. Uh, you know, of course, have all the games up here as well. It's all Sega Genesis up there only. Uh, a few Master System games, and it goes fairly deep in there. You know, and there's, you know, this is the Pat NES Punk, uh, you know, Game Chasers, Rue, 8-Bit Eric autographed all this for me right here. But it's all of my games, all of the, all of them back here, basically, of all Sega Genesis complete in box titles, and I put that there. Uh, down here, of course, uh, is kind of a mishmash of stuff that I'm like looking to expand my bookshelf someday. So I'm looking to do that as well as kind of you know organize this area up a little bit more. But I just have some general stuff here, like Resident Evil Six, little those little thumb buttons I got recently, some Portland Retro Gaming Expo uh, flyers right here. The, of course, the cardboard cutouts that Cynical Enigma sent me. I got one left right now. Currently, I'm going to order more, possibly. Some Sega Genesis games, PlayStation games, Sega 32X, that is a Knuckles Chaotix. Of course, my Lunar 2, Odd Worlds, A Exodius, and then, of course, all my PlayStation games organized. They have been uh, basically reorganized. I got my long boxes up here with just kind of a general... I reorganized my PlayStation game area more so than before. It's really, you know, like, here's... Kind of series, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, Bloody Roar, all the Tomb Raiders, Crash Bandicoots, Twisted Metal, Metal Gears, and Alundra 1 and 2 right there. You know, so it's, that's kind of like a series area. Over here is a mishmash of stuff. You know, it's Tony Hawk's, of course, and, so, you know, Wakeboarding and Brunswick, but also Dino Crisis, Silent Hill, Soul Blade, Gaunt Legends, Iron Man 3D, Darkstone. Warhammer, oh wait, Warhammer? Oh, I don't see Warhammer, actually. Romance of the Three Kingdoms 6 and Resident Evil 2. My rare games go right here, though, you know. Um, Iron Man, I love Iron Man. Mortal Kombat, Resident Evil. You know, just kind of everything that you can possibly imagine goes right here. Vandal Hearts 2, 1 and 2, of course. Great games right there. And just, you know, overall PlayStation games right there. Of course... Next up is the Sega Genesis. Uh, of course, I've got all my... I try to put my rarest games in here for showcasing purposes. I've got, of course, Castlevania Bloodlines in the, there, Herzog's Vi, Thunder Force, Comic Zone, you know, Shining Force 1 and 2 right there, Predator 2, Toe Jam and Earl. It's a great condition, Toe Jam and Earl. Uh, Wonder Boy, Strider uh, 1 and 2, Grindstormer, Mortal Kombat, you know, 1 through 3, Gunstar Heroes, Soldeca, and all that. And it's just really great right there to have all these Sega Genesis games. And as, as, of course, I have games behind these ones as well. You know, there's always games. There's games kind of everywhere in this room, basically. So, you know, you can just open a drawer and find games. It's amazing. Here, of course, my next area is... This is kind of like my nin most Nintendo area, mostly Nintendo area. There's still occasional Sega here, so you because you see the Game Gear right here in the 32X. But like here's my Wii games. I only have four games, sadly. But you know, they're pretty good titles. Soul Calibur, Resident Evil, Resident Evil Zero, Pokemon Battle, very nice. My Box N64 titles. You know, you got Mortal Kombat and Gauntlet. You know, not very many though. I don't usually go out, you know, picking up box N64 titles very often. I, I you know, I have the games I want. You know, here's some loose card Genesis, Star Fox 64 right there. Uh, Perfect Dark on top and Goldeneye back there as well. And of course, here's my NES, uh, of course, you know, all kind of the rare stuff is back here. I know it's hard to see, guys. I apologize, but Captain America is there. Mega Man 6 is there. Kid Icarus, Super Mario Bros. 3, Yoshi, Bart, and, you know, it's just kind of everything and anything you can imagine. And I got GameCube games right here, too. Resident Evil 4, Def Jam, but, you know, Fight for New York and Def Jam Vendetta, Dead to Rice. Super Nintendo goes right here. You know, a lot of sports titles, sadly, in this stack, so there's nothing really substantial. You know, I've got Populous there and a few other little titles, but nothing great. You know, and there's a Game Boy box game right here. 
I got some VHS tapes right here of games. I got this box, uh, Namco Museum, and as well as Super Nintendo box titles. You know, there's my new acquisition, Gradius 3 complete in box, Super Battle Tank, but it's all, all over the place. There we go. Uh, this is an extra Castlevania Bloodlines, but I'm trading it to somebody, so this game is not up for trade, guys. Sorry about that, but this game is not up for trade. It's going to somebody else. And then, of course, next, next, next level is... Sega CD and Saturn, um, you know, and my I got my Game Gear right here. Oops, there we go, Game Gear right there. The Sega CD, Sega Saturn, you know, Sega CD hasn't changed too much over the time. I've been I've been kind of lacking on getting the Sega CD. I have picked up, oh my gosh, I don't think I really picked up any Sega Saturn except the Panzer Dragoon 2 from Old School Brian, which was really cool of him to send to me. So that's the only recent real acquisition that I've got gained. Um, and of course, behind uh, the Sega CD and Sega Saturn games are, of course, the Xbox games. Um, I'm not the, I know, sorry about the lighting, guys, but I'm not a big collector of Xbox games. I never have been. I do occasionally do a good, like, if there's a, an interesting title that I really want, I will pick it up. But other than that, I kind of leave the Sega, the Xbox games to some like my other roommates to pick up. Or, and if nobody wants them, nobody wants it. Sadly, it's kind of the only system I actually don't really buy for or go out looking for very often. Um, next up over here though is the handheld area. The DS games are back there as well. These are Neo Geo Pocket games, and of course PSP back there. I've got you know tons of stuff. Metal Gear. Oh, shoot. Um, let's see. What am I crushing here? Oh, I see what I'm crushing. I mean, oh, alrighty then. We got a mess going. And yeah, but I'll just set these here for now. I'll just set that up like that. Um, I'll fix that later. Of course, my stacks of Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. Very nice. More GameCube games back there. My handheld Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color. And it's just that this is kind of like my general hand handheld area right here. So next up is one of my definite big crown jewels of system collecting. I'm gonna get kind of down low right here. I pick this is all my PS2s. You know this is kind of a huge chunk of them. There's Silent Hill, you know, Neo Contra, Fatal Fury, uh, Battle Archives Volume One. You know it's just everything. And they got the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, God of War, Dynasty Tactics, Kessen, Warriors Orochi. Samurai Warriors and then Dynasty Warriors, which I'm really known for. And then you've got the, you know, the rare, kind of the rare stuff right here. You got Yeez, this, this guy, that I can't say it. <laughs> uh, Valkyrie Profile 2, Shining Force Neo, Xenosaga, Ark the Lad, Resident Evils, Metal Gears, Onimusha's, Godai, Sudoken 4, Mega Man X7, all the Mortal Kombat's. It's just everything. There's that, and actually, funny, I've, since I've reorganized this area a lot, there's no games really behind these ones currently. I am looking to add to that, but you know, currently there are no games behind this one, these ones as of right now. But that's it. That's the video game, the main area of video gaming. There are, there is other areas, of course. There's like this little, these stacks of PlayStation games, um, you know. And I got my Turbo Graphics 16 right there game. But you know, this is it for that. Catherine's right there. I just kind of set Catherine right there for now. Keep her out of the way. And then let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and move over here. Uh, this is the gun safe. I've reorganized this area and cleaned out a huge chunk. Back then, there was a lot of stuff in this thing. It was up here. I've uh, moved a lot of the stuff. These are a bunch of extra NES cartridges. And back there, I know you guys can't see it, but there's a bunch of board games back there. Uh, here's my gun safe. I'm gonna open it for you guys if I can move my boots out of the way. Uh, there's my um, rifle and shotgun. I know it's really hard to see guys. Um, I'll pull out one. I'll pull out the shotgun. Excuse me guys. Give me a sec. This is my Weatherby shotgun. It does work. I don't know if the safety... It's not loaded of course. You know, I'm not a total fool. I'm just a good fool. But it's a Weatherby shotgun. See? Oh wait, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's uh, get down to its level. It's a Weatherby. 12 gauge pump gun, shotgun. It's a uh, two plus one shotgun. It's pretty lightweight. It's really nice. It's not too heavy um, once you get used to it. It's, you know, metal, very nice. Weatherby, of course, nice shotgun. But it's the only gun I'm gonna really show you guys. I have a 22 rifle as well, but you know, it's, that's a wood stock, not very good. 
it's good, but it's not like the best gun I own. And it's a Remington, I think. I think. I don't know, but that's my gun safe. I'm look. I, I'm always looking to get more guns, but right now one of my coworkers who promised to sell me a gun, uh, he kind of backed out, so I'm not really into it right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I've been redecorating so much. This is one spot right here. I have a bunch of NES games, and I book into the. I've got some like bookshelves, and I reorganize this area in order to have my laundry hamper on the ground now. And this is on top of my comics. I have a Nintendo Entertainment System right there with all these lo loose cart games. Kind of got them off off the floor, reorganized them. You know, just got some you know nice organization going on. You know, and then there's these box ones. There's more box games, you know, but I, I just pulled out some of the good ones that I like a great deal. And then of course this is new. This is Resident Evil 6 poster. I had I got it framed. I paid for the frame. It's a very nice big poster. I like it very much. My brother Daniel gave it to me for free, actually, and I really like the, it's got Chris and Leon and Helena and all the guys on there. But, of course, I know everyone's like, well, that's not much redecorating, but I'm like, well, here we go. I've got three Nintendo Power magazines framed and hung up. I have Felix the Cat issue, framed and hung up. A Darkwing Duck issue, framed and hung up. And a Street Fighter II Turbo with Vega on it. Um, I, I found these in a... Oh gosh, in an outlet store of Goodwill a long time ago. And I was like, holy crap, dude, I gotta add these in. And then I found these frames at Michael's and I've been framing these myself and they're really cool and I'm really loving how they're turning out. You know, they're, they're, and I put them in a step format. That way they kind of just keep them looking cool, not like just straight down a line, but you know, kind of step. And then next up, I have my Brawl poster hanging here now. I picked up, I can't remember where I got this, honestly, but it's really cool. It's Brawl. It's got all the characters on it from Wario, Sonic, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Kirby, Fox, Snake, Link, Zelda, you know, everybody on there. I also got the, Ze the Zelda poster finally hung up. This guy got at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. This guy print makes prints of these all the time during the Portland Retro and he sells them for seven bucks each. But if you buy two for ten, you get two for ten. Also picked up Castlevania, uh, the Castlevania, the first one. This one came, uh, he also made this one for me. He had this one set up and ready to go. The frames I bought myself though, they were like $10, $15 for each frame. So you know, $10, $15 each frame. And these are really cool posters. They're 24 by I believe 17, 18 area. You know, so they fit perfectly in these little frames and they work out great. And the last one is of course, the Metal Slug 2 po poster. I picked up. I think some guys saw that. If you saw the Portland Retro Gaming Expo footage, you saw me pick this up. It's really cool. It's got the two girls on top, and it's got the two guys on the bottom fighting people. It's pretty kick-ass. I really like this poster. So I redecorated this whole area alongside this wall. So I'm just going to kind of give you a visual of it right now. There we go. This is all redecorated and redesigned and redone. I pulled down the waterfall photo, and I've just been really going to town redecorating and redesigning this whole room to get it, uh, give it a more clean, crisp look. You know, so there we go on that. So next up I'm gonna show is the new kind of play area for video games. I have my Odyssey up here with my TurboGrafx-16, the Dreamcast keyboard, the controller, the Knuckles bobblehead, the PSP, and the DK Bongos plus an Xbox 360 controller, plus all these Power Ranger figurines. I just kind of set them up there for, you know, fun. So there we go on that. It's all cool. It's very nice. I really like how it looks now. Down here, I got the Atari 5200 and Odyssey 2 games and uh, carts. A plus 2600 right there. Got combat and a uh, video pinball. Sega Saturn right here. Atari 5200 and a Mustang Boss 429 little metal sign, which is really cool. Definitely liking it. I got my swords and daggers on this side. Very nice. And then, of course, my filing cabinet right here. And then... Over here, I've got the TV. I've um, set up more systems now. I've got my master system finally out and set up and ready to go to play whenever I want. It's very cool. I got my two controllers, my laser gun, you know, my zapper gun, whatever you want to call it, for master system right there. I got my Model 3 set up and ready to go. And I got my PlayStation in here, my Xbox 360, and my, you know, just games and stuff like that. This is just some paperwork I've been going through right now. I actually got to put this away. I'm trying to keep my room as really clean as I can now. 
because now that I got time off a little bit, I'm gonna try to keep it as clean as possible. Got my Dreamcast, of course, here, Super Nintendo, and now the GameCube is actually down here. Due to the Sega Genesis being moved up here, I decided to finally put out the GameCube and hang and get that guy out. Of course, that's my computer area, still working on trying to organize that. And I still have the Fujita wall scroll poster, but as you guys can tell, I'm really redecorating. So what's gonna happen is there's one there's like one more thing I'm gonna do along this wall and get it really looking good. And I'm going to work on this wall, and then I'm going to work on this wall, and I'm going to work on that corner up there, and then I'm going to be done. So it's coming in section. This was section one, getting all this up, this, and this. So there's going to be like one more thing done on this wall, then it's done. This wall is done. I'm going to move over here. Sadly, the Vegeta wall scroll poster is going to come down, but something else is going to, one or two items are going to go in its place. So it's going to be really cool. And then it's going to be one more, you know, it's just going to be great. It's going to be awesome. I promise, guys, you know, if you really like this and how this turned out. And let me tell you guys, I'm loving how it turned out. It's great. I'm, I love all the stuff I've done. All the frames are the same basic frames design. They're all sleek, beveled, shiny, very cool. I'm loving how it turned out. And it's just really great for organization. So this is it. DVDs, of course, go there. Video game collection one more time. But there you go, guys. This is the updated room tour, like I promised. Sorry it took me a little while, but I have been buying and redecorating this room like crazy. I've spent, you know, a lot of money on frames, but it's completely worth it to get this room more organized and better looking. And it's going to, by the end of it, it's going to be one awesome game room with a lot of stuff that I know a lot of guys are going to love. So thanks for tuning in. I hope to see you guys later.